Today we are going to show how to audit a CentOS server and detect if there is any fraud activities in it. CentOS is one distribution of Linux among hundreds of other Linux distributions. And CentOS is most commonly used as a web server operating system. So in this according to these statistics we can prove that. So uh, today we are going to use RK Hunter, Nmap and Linux terminal commands to audit CentOS. So uh, RK Hunter is an easy to use tool which checks machines running Unix, Linux, BSD and other operating systems for the presence of rootkits and other unwanted tools. RK Hunter can be run as a cron job or from the command line when needed. A bash shell or a cron shell is required. If available, Perl modules should be used to replace some default system commands. The following system areas will be checked by the RK Hunter MD5 hash comparison, uh, default files commonly used by rootkits, incorrect file placements, search for suspect strings in LKM and KLD modules, hidden files, deleted files, listing applications that could be used lib pcap search for old versions of software packages so let's see what are rootkits rootkit is a software that enables continued privileged access to a computer while actively hiding its presence from administrators by subverting standard operating system functionality or other application in simple words what we can say is a rootkit is a software that gives unauthorized admin access to other unprivileged users so those users get the highest level of clearance and they can do malicious things to the operating system or the computer system so now let's go for a demo to show how to install RK Hunter and use it to audit the operating system you can install the RK Hunter by yum install RK Hunter so in this case I have already installed the RK Hunter so it will do nothing and now to audit the operating system the command is RK Hunter minus C So it will check for various file locations. So there are warnings. It will also check for some viruses, common worms. Like in the server environment, worms are the most malicious virus families. So it will check for that. There's a warning for SSH. Yes. Okay. After it show it checks for the root keys, then it will generate a log. So we can see the log from here. Let's have a look at it. So it shows the complete process and warnings. So a server administrator can analyze this log. So as we 
as we mentioned earlier we said like uh, server administrators can run this as a cron job so after the cron job log will be generated so the administrator can audit the log file and see if there is any security issues and all that Okay, the next tool we are going to show is Nmap. Nmap or the Network Mapper is an open source tool. So this tool is highly used in network environments. It's a it's a network environment uh, security auditing tool. It was designed to rapidly scan large networks. Rapidly in sense it can scan very speed and show if there what are the ports open and so on. So these are the some usages of this uh, in map can determine what hosts are available on the network what services those hosts are offering what operating systems they are running what types of packet filters firewalls are in use and dozens of other characteristics and in map is widely used in security audits as i said earlier so other than that nmap can be used as a tool for debugging to make sure if a port is open in a server or may be blocked by a firewall or just to test our IP tables and rules. Now let's go for a demo and see how the nmap is used. Ok I'll clear this and you can install the nmap by yum install nmap. So in this case I have already installed the nmap. So I'll skip this. And to use the nmap there are so many switches. So if you want just to scan the TCP ports you can have nmap minus s and capital S and the host you want to scan. I'll show the local host so as you can see so this shows the port and the and the program running on top of that pro port so here in 699 there's an unknown program so if that's a suspicious thing the administrator can look into that and close that program or remove that port from being active and to scan the udp ports you can have n map minus S capital U and same as the host so there are there are another two unknown programs so as earlier administrator can act and to and to scan the what are the protocols we are supporting or what are the protocols currently in use you can have n map minus simple s capital low and the host so it shows uh, there are ICMP protocol IGMP protocol TCP and UDP IPv6 protocol is also running and another unknown protocol so administrator can look into that thing so other than that to scan the whole network Administrator can use nmap minus a localhost. So this will take time because it will scan for the protocol, program, and the operating system it is running. Yeah. So we can see that the operating system is Red Hat Linux. Currently, I'm running CentOS. It's on top of Red Hat. So yeah. So the Linux terminal. So Linux terminal is not actually an auditing tool, but there are techniques to check whether our system is secure using the Linux terminal. So here there are two examples one is check rc local file for any suspicious startup programs so startup programs which are they will automatically run 
in the boot up of the computer and they will run in the background without giving any notifications and all so we can check the rc local file so rc local file is important because that's the place where we can put the records of the startup programs and if there's a virus or a malicious program running they it most probably it will located and it is there's a entry in the rc local file to run it on the startup so let's see the rc local file you can use gedit slash etc slash rc dot local so here it clearly says it is running from bin sh which is the uh, shell command and currently there is a one program it is the uh, auto update uh, system auto update program and other than that it's clear so the administrator can verify that there's nothing wrong with the rc local file so and the other technique is the mount the temp directory as a non-executable so this is important because almost all the programs use slash temp directory and if we consider about if our computer is a web server so if there's an upload program so in php like in the default edition the all the uploaded things will be kept in the temp directory until they are moved so a potential hacker can use that thing and write a malicious program and run it from the temp directory so this is he can do that because it is executable directory but if we make the slash temp directory a non-executable it will be more secure so let's see how to mount the temp directory as a non-executable so you can have the command mount minus o remount no exec and the directory will be slash temp so now the temp directory is a non-executable directory so the programs cannot start up from there so and yes so that's it for our demonstration so these are our group members and their ICT numbers. Thank you.